So I'm already home and I forgot to uh, film a couple of things in the video for this week. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who sent in donations. Uh, I really appreciate it. It'll be awesome. I'll be able to get a GoPro here pretty soon because of that. Um, while money's tight and stuff because of the lockdown, uh, I really appreciate it. Also, um, specifically, uh, Rodrigo wanted a shout out. He left that in the comment for his donation. So shout out to you, Rodrigo. Uh, cheers. By the way, anybody who hasn't tried this beer, definitely try it. It's my favorite one I've tried in a long time. Um, so also thank you to everybody who's been sending in, you know, uh, brake lines and, and painting equipment and everything. I really appreciate that everybody. It's cool how, you know, we can all come together and, and, uh, provide different things and, uh, help each other all out. Um, also I'm starting to look for hangar space out here in Boise. And, um, if anybody has, knows of anybody, uh, specifically at Caldwell airport, who's got a hangar and maybe has a little extra space. Um, yeah, let me know. That'd be awesome. Uh, other than that, I'm starting to look around cause I think in, uh, about a month here, hopefully if everything goes well, I'll be needing it to put the wings and final assembly and everything together. So, um, yeah, now for the real video. So today is Saturday, May 23rd, and here's what I got done this week. So I had sent in my registration a month or two ago to the FAA and just to get that all squared away here, because I know that it takes them a long time to process that stuff. And apparently you have to send in a, their special bill of sale form rather than just the receipts. They say somehow that those receipts don't prove that I bought the plane, even though my, my name's on them. So anyway, through that process, I learned about a company called aero-spacereports.com, or I think that's the website. I'll, I'll link it in the description here. Anyway, they uh, have a service where you, you pay them a small fee. I think it's like a hundred bucks and they'll take it over to the FAA, your registration paperwork, and you get a temporary registration the next day. Uh, I would have done that for sure if I had known about it. Um, but Airplane Factory and Torrance told me about it through the process of getting the rest of the paperwork dialed in. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for them to finish my registration. Uh, Cause my harness is supposed to be here next week. And um, once my harness gets here, I'll be able to, like I keep saying, you know, button up those top skins, the rear windows, I'll put them in next week either way. Um, and I should get cranking. I mean, I could paint the fuselage. So yeah, anyway, I spent most of this week just prepping these parts for paint and uh, laying on the first, you know, coat of primer and first couple coats of paint. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, you can see it came out, it's got a really good shine to it. Um, there's a little bit of texture on the first parts that I painted. Um, some texture is going to be unavoidable, but anyway, I can, uh, hit it with a buffing wheel and just kind of smooth it out just a little bit more to make it perfect. Um, but there was a learning curve to it. It took me probably a little bit longer than I would have expected, uh, just to pull the trigger for the first time on the paint gun just because it's a big step. Um, but yeah, I think it came out pr pretty good. Um, there's a couple spots that I missed kind of, that was pretty dumb. Um, you know, as I refine my process, I think I can get better at it, but it's also not a huge deal to tape up the, the area and just kind of touch it up later. Um, so I'm, I'm really pleased with the paint, how it's coming out. Um, of course, this light gray is just my base coat. And I will, I'm not gonna reveal my paint scheme just yet. I'm not sure if I ever will or not. Uh, maybe I'll just paint it and show it at the end after it's done, but I'm pretty excited about the uh, overall scheme that I'm doing here with this light gray uh, base coat. And I, and I really like the choice of base coat personally. Um, it's not just a white airplane and and uh, I think it's gonna look good. But you can see here, let's see if I can get the light to reflect. On these parts, there's little dust specks. Um, that's because I didn't clean the booth after I painted those first round of parts out there. I painted those, you know, first, and then I moved them out there once they dried. And I painted these ones earlier today. 
And um, there's little specks of dust because I didn't clean the booth. Now I learned that I've got to clean it in between every single set of parts that I that I paint in here. Um, it's not a huge deal. It'll, it'll buff right out with, with a buffing wheel, just like I was talking about on the other parts. I'm not going to get too crazy with it, um, but it definitely will look good when it's done. That much I can guarantee. So, so yeah, um, same thing on these parts. Um, I didn't want to, let's see if I can get better lighting. Yeah, so you could see the, the green primer underneath here. I didn't want to get too wild with uh, trying to detail and stuff because the fan will shoot through and over and I didn't want to pull it up on the rivets around there. So to, to prevent drips, I just painted it like this and then I'll mask off the area here and really um, just with a fine detail gun, I'll just touch up kind of the the areas that got missed but yeah I mean for the most part um, I'm really pleased with with how it's coming out for my first airplane painting so that's it for this week uh, just gonna be a quick update I know that if I skip the week then I'll have a 25 minute video for next week I don't want to do those so anyway have a good weekend everybody